I feel like there should be eagles and fireworks following him wherever he goes. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Citizen V. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right down here, we have Citizen V on this side of the box. We have Citizen V on the other side of the box. We have Citizen V on the bottom, where it's things Marcos up top, nothing. We got build the figure Thanos. On the back of the box, we have the rundown of all the figures needed to build said Thanos. And up top, we have Citizen V yet again, along with a bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Citizen V. And um, apparently he is a superhero, and uh, according to a uh, brief Wikipedia lookup, he is the... Uh, th there have been... Well, I don't know about this one in particular, but there have been uh, seven versions of Citizen V, seven different people who have taken on the mantle of Citizen V, and uh, yeah, I don't know which number he is, but you know, yeah, that, that's a lot, but yeah. <laughs> I know nothing of these characters, I just bought him because I needed to build a figure part, but hey, let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt, which uh, not much to it, it's a very uh, featureless mask going on there just some little indentations there for the eyes little thing there for the nose and that's pretty much it <laughs> but yeah uh very patriotic shoulder pads going on there with the stripes and the stars and the cape itself just done in blue and white and the suit itself as you can see just all done in blue you get some red wraps going around the waist, around the forearms, and the fists, and got the red boots going on, and moving up the back, and you get some nice detail there with the cape, the cape as usual is, you know, soft, bendy plastic, but yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, we're going to take the cape off, it's just pegged into his back, so we'll just unpeg this for now, so we can show off the, uh, articulation, there you go, there's the, uh, musculature there in the back, you don't skip back today. He does not skip back day. But articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, but you don't get too much wiggly-waggly. But he can look up, he can look down due to that joint. Head can do a full 360. Shoulders can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You get bicep rotation. You get a double jointed elbow. So you get decent range of movement. You get wrist rotation as well as a hinge that allows the hands to move in and out. You get that ab crunch, it moves forward and back, even clicks a bit. You get waist rotation, legs can move forward that far, back that far, out that far. You get thigh rotation, a double jointed knee. You do have a boot cut here if you need it, and the feet can move up, they can move down, and you have ankle tilted jaw. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include. A sword here, which is done in a silver-ish plastic. And he can hold that in his hands. And he holds it pretty well. So you can slash, 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 slash. For justice. So, there you have that. And for comparison, we'll bring in his wave mates. Here we have Ronin and Cap. Here we have Ebony... Ma, who's always taller. And we have Nighthawk and Living Laser. Stan Living Laser. He's the fainting laser. Come on, there we go. <laughs> so, there you have that. And the last thing to talk about is the build the figure part. So, Citizen V here comes with the right leg of Thanos. All nice and gold and armored up like. So now we can bring in the rest of him. And now he finally has two legs. Yay! Hooray for legs! So there we go. We're almost done. We are all most done. And that's that's actually kind of screen accurate now. But anyway, there you go. 
So there you have Citizen V. Um, you know, just like I said with the past couple of figures, you know, it's a nicely done figure. Just no attachment to the character, and I just got him for the Build-A-Figure part. But still, nicely done figure, nonetheless. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Marvel Legends toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Marvel Legends playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Marvel Legends Citizen V, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face! Hey, has anyone seen my shield? I, I seem to have misplaced it for oh. Um that that's mine. What well, it looks better on me anyway. What, what where are you going? Come 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 back here!